Welcome to this SOLIDWORKS tutorial guys. In this video we will be designing this propeller in SOLIDWORKS. So let's begin. Select part and click OK. After that make sure that you are working in correct units. I'm working in MMGS. Uh, these are in millimeters. And from here change the background to plain white. And after that in features you will find this reference geometry. And here we will find plane click on it and in this first reference we have to specify some plane and in this case I am specifying the top plane and here we need to specify the offset distance so I am specifying as 60 millimeter so a plane at 60 millimeter offset will be created and now again make a plane and this time this reference will be the plane 1 and the offset distance will be 110 millimeter so specify 110 and check this box from here as you can see we have two different planes created plane 1 and plane 2 so select this plane 1 and click on sketch and from here select the three point arc from this origin vertically selected this point this point and the third point here in space like this now hold the control key from your keyboard select this point this point and this origin point and here make relation vertical and after that check this box from here now select smart dimensioning tool from origin to this point of the three point arc specify the height so here i'm specifying 122.7 millimeter and then from this point to this point of the arc which is basically the length of the arc here specifies 36.9 although this plane 2 is showing but we are creating a sketch on our plane 1 select a 3 point arc again select these two points and here this third point will be in space now from this midpoint of the arc 1 and this midpoint of the arc 2 where specify the distance as 3 millimeter and we are done with uh, our sketch 1 that is on plane 1 exit the sketch from here and now we will be creating sketch on plane 2 so this is plane 2 select here and uh, uh, select the option for the sketch and uh, we will be creating a 3 point arc so select a three point arc from here and this is first point second point and third point here and now let's define it from this point to this point here specify the height as 128.6 millimeter now press escape button select this point and the origin point and make relation as vertical and check the box from here now select the smart dimensioning tool again select these two points of the three point arc and here specify the distance as 32.85 and now specify the vertical distance as well of this three point arc as 32.5 millimeter and create a three point arc like this just like we have created on plane one and from this point of the first three point arc to the second the distance is three millimeter okay now exit the sketch from here and now we need to create a 3d sketch so in this sketch tab we need to select this 3d sketch now select the spline tool from here and from our sketch on plane to this edge select here and click on this space and this edge of the plane 1 sketch and similarly on to the other side may create a spline like this as we are creating geometry for the wing of the propeller so give it a shape like this it will be a little tilt but it will be a very small one so approximately give it a shape like this and exit the sketch from here and now go to features and select here the lofted boss space command in this profile window this one we need to select 
these sketches that we have created on plane 1 and plane 2 and we have the option for this guide curve if this is collapsed you can expand it from here in this window we need to select this one and check the green box from here select this one and check the green box from here and as you can see this is the profile for the wing of the propeller which is created so check this box from here now we have nothing to do with this plane so select these planes one by one and hide them so the wing has been created and now select this right plane and click on sketch and after that select the line tool from here from this origin point to here in space create a horizontal line then this vertical line then this horizontal line again and up to this origin make a line like this and now select smart dimensioning tool and specify the length of this horizontal line uh, line this is 166 millimeter and now select this fillet tool select this edge and here give it a radius of 30 millimeter then check the box from here and now hold control key from your keyboard select this line and this edge and give it a re this relation coincident okay now go to features and select this revolve boss base in this axis of revolution window we need to select this horizontal line and check the box from here as you can see this geometry has been created now we need to create 30 more wings for that we need a axis this axis select the axis from the reference geometry and in this, this window select this conical shape as you can see this axis has been created and from here select the circular pattern command in direction one we need to select this axis here specify 30 as number in features select this wing and as you can see 30 wings will be created like this so propeller is now in closer shape now select this right plane and click on sketch select here midpoint line as you can see it from here from this point to this point anywhere in space create a vertical straight line and then go to features first exit the sketch from here in curves we have siplet line so select this siplet line in this selection first window we need to select this sketch and in the second window we need to select this conical shape and check the box from here and as you can see this area will be separated and in this appearance select this conical edge and give it this appearance this is optional step by the way this is not mandatory i'm just uh, giving this some appearance okay now select this back face and click on sketch and select a circle and make a circle at this region now let's specify the diameter of this circle so i am specifying here the diameter as 40 millimeter now go to features and select here extruded cut and i will extruded cut it up to 38 millimeter so here specify 38 and check the box from here as you can see this is created now and now in features tab select this fillet tool and select this edge and we need to specify the radius for the fillet which is 5 millimeter and this one as well and then check the box from here and now we just need to give uh, this part some appearance so for different parts there should be some different appearance this circular pattern give any appearance you like i'm giving this one this loft will have the same appearance and this fillet will have some other appearance this is optional you can give any appearance you like and give this one as brass so that's how we create the propeller in solidworks so if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching guys